we are getting right down to the wire and our ladies aren't just dreaming of success, they're working for it. That's right, Julie. Just a few more episodes remain before the big reveal of Mission Makeover season four. I can't wait. Good morning, everybody. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Jamie Eason, and we're here at the beautiful Treetops Park in South Florida. And beauty both inside and out is the order of the day, so let's get right to the show. I'm not going to fail this time. This is going to be a lifestyle change. This is going to be all new you. Think about what's holding you back and where you're going. This is going to be a journey we're all going to go on together. We've seen how the ladies' bodies have been transforming over the last several weeks, and it's been pretty hardcore. But now it's time to soften it up a bit. Let the pampering begin as we head for facials at the Women's Wellness Center of Boca Raton. Hi, ladies. How are you? Good. Cool. I would love to introduce you today to Dr. Gail Pizzullo Bergs of the Women's Wellness Center of Boca Raton. Hi. Hi. Hey, ladies. Welcome back. I missed you the first time you were here when you reviewed your lab results with Dr. Harris. And it looks like you made great progress. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, today it's about healthy skin. Stress, your eating habits, your sleeping habits, your hormones all impact how our skin looks and feels. And that's why we recommend a good skincare regimen and customized facial to combat this problem. Okay, Nicole, after reading your intake, I see that you're having a little bit of problem with some sunspots, a little bit of problem breaking out on your chin. You definitely need a good cleaning. You need to have some of this congestion cleared out, but we're gonna give you that. And then after that, I'm gonna give you a very nice hydrating mask because your skin does show some signs of dehydration. It's very important not to ignore your decollete in your neck. Okay. It's all part of anti-aging. I can see that you have some issues with some dark spots from some breakouts, mm -hmm. some hormone issues here, okay, and definitely some hydrate dehydration on your skin. I mixed up a nice enzyme for you, so I want to put this enzyme on you, and then we're going to put you under some steam. Mm -hmm. We're going to let it steam just for a few moments to loosen up in addition to the enzyme that I put on your face. So Brandy, we know that you're having a little issues with dryness on your skin, a little bit around your nose here. Well, through the process of this facial, we'll address all that and we'll cover it. And by the time we're done, you'll know some of the things you can do to accomplish getting rid of that. Most of the facial is about all the massaging and ma manipulation. Michelle, I've reviewed your intake form and I understand that some of your issues our dryness, breaking out around your nose, and your forehead. So those are situations that we will deal with through the whole facial. How's okay. that? Sounds good. How often should you get a facial? It depends on the needs that we're addressing, but you can do it once every several months, mm -hmm. once every month, depending on what we're trying to achieve with your skin. So how was it? Excellent. Awesome. Awesome. And you all know beauty starts from within. Yes. yes. When you look your best, you feel your best. So keep up the good work, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome back. My family and I are big believers in giving back. And I'm very proud to say that our Mission Makeover ladies love to be charitable as well. When it came time to get rid of their clothes that no longer fit, they decided to donate them to a worthy cause. I love thrifting, so I'm excited that we're heading to a thrift store run by a great organization, Women in Distress of Broward County. The thrift store where we're today is part of the operation that we have of Women in Distress. We're a fully certified domestic violence center providing a whole range of free and confidential services for women, men, and importantly for children who are victims of domestic abuse. It's estimated that one in four women will experience intimate partner violence at some time in their life. Really, the important person here is Sadell, and I'd like just uh, to let you hear a little about her story. Well, I was really young, and I think I got caught up in um, the fascination of being in a relationship. It initially started out well, but a few years into it, it got a little hectic. I got pregnant for my first child, and with 
Obviously, another, a child on the way came with financial issues. I think that led into where the abuse started. Um, it was a very controlling relationship. The abuse got worse. It was um, mental, it was physical, it was sexual. I did um, seek help with the women in distress here. I did the outreach counseling, and they helped me a lot. They helped me as much as they could with open arms. They took me in around 2013 where I finally had my aha moment where it was like, okay, enough is enough. There was a person that was put into my life that brought back that happiness, that taught me that life is precious, each day is not promised, and you know, you have to be happy with yourself. I married this man last year. He is my husband. Congratulations. Awesome. On behalf of the Mission Makeover team and myself, we wanted to let you know that we brought um, some donations for you. And we know they're gonna make a big difference in someone's life. Thank you so much. Um, it takes a village, it takes a whole community to really address the issue of family violence. And so this is going to help a lot of women who you may never meet. Uh, and their children and their families get back on a new violence-free life. So thank you. And continued success to each of you on your journey. Very exciting and congratulations. Thank, thank, thank you. you. All season long, we've been telling you about our Bigger Wardrobe Slimmer You contest powered by Spiegel. The girls have been shedding weight and hopefully you have been too. Now, there's slim pickings in their closet, so what's a girl to wear? Time now for some style tips from the fashion powerhouse that are sure to inspire. All right, ladies, now that you're slimmer and trimmer, it's time to talk fashion. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, meet celebrity fashion designer Richard Lowe. He's the international creative director for Spiegel, and he's going to give us the inside scoop on how to maximize your assets. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow, Spiegel. I remember those catalogs being around the house when I was like a little girl. I know. I mean, we're turning 150 years old this year, wow. so we love sharing those wow. memories and being a part of the different lives and families. Uh, we're a top 20 recognized brand in the country, and we love supporting women's initiatives. So we're going to talk wardrobe, and we're going to show you some sketches, and we're going to start sketching up some wonderful ideas for all of you, and I cannot wait to go through each one of these with you guys. It's going to be an amazing experience. I'm so excited. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, I have to say these vision boards are just really beautiful and I love that you took the time to go through everything that I know bothers you in your mind about what I haven't been able to wear and what I haven't been able to try. Brandy, on your board, the women that you've chosen have beautiful voluptuous figures as well, yes. so I think that's important to note. The ruching is great, so the ruching covers all manner of sin, so to speak. You've definitely got a good sense of what you know will work for your body type. I think it's just elevating it to the level where we can show off more of your body so that you feel more confident. It's a darling. Let's yes. talk about your vision board because I love, by the way, that you've taken the time to accentuate your hips and this notion of sleeplessness. Because um, <sighs> like most women, and you're not alone here, most women do not like to show their arms. I mean, I can tell just from what you're wearing, you have beautiful arms. You know, there's, there's nothing to hide there. I really want you to like push the envelope and try some different ideas. Are you ready? I'm ready. You actually captured two amazing um, themes here, one being the pencil skirt. But what's difficult about a pencil skirt for a lot of women is that self-consciousness of it, because it does show off your hip mm -hmm. and your leg, and you have to be prepared for that. And then also what you captured on this board is a, what we call a pencil pant or a cigarette pant. And you don't have to be a small size to wear these styles. I was really into fashion up until the time I started gaining my weight. Going shopping and trying to be fashionable right. wasn't fun. Well, I'm going to change that. Yay! Thank you. I'm excited. All right, my darling. Oh, my turn. So something I really struggle with is my midriff. So one of the reasons I chose a bikini or a two-piece is because of that issue. And I wanted to kind of force myself and kick myself in the butt to really work on that area of my body. I don't know any woman that I've ever designed for, and I don't care who they are, how many abs they might have or not have, you know, they all have that same midriff issue. So I'm gonna sketch up some amazing ideas for you, and then we can have a look at them and you can give us some of your feedback. Thank you, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> brought out some of my favorite pieces. Um, I've got some fabric swatches and some of the body styles that I think you should know about. Yeah, I know you also have your shape effects yes. stuff. So that's always exciting for anybody who wants to hide anything or just like smooth their silhouette. What it really is is these incredible fashion foundations that are built into the garment. This one's a slip, but they all come in different shapes and sizes and they're usually built in. This one's removable, so it's one of our new 
technologies that we've created that you can actually take it out and wear it with other garments. We also put it in pencil skirts, which is amazing. Uh -oh. Yes. Okay. All right, Richard, is it time yet? It is time. Okay. Hey, ladies, so I did take the time to do some sketches for you, and I'm gonna show you one of each that is a recommendation and a representation of what I think is gonna be a great starting um, platform for where you wanna be. I know that you have such beautiful legs, and I wanna get you to embrace them, but I also know that you feel maybe not 100% ready to do that yet. Right. So in fashion right now, there's a huge trend called a high-low, which means that it's like shorter in the front and longer in the back. And what's great about that trend is that for you, it'll allow you to showcase your legs, but you'll feel like you have coverage. And I think that'll help give you that sort of psychology in your mind of, I have coverage, but I'm still right. feeling a little sexy. So the dress that I had in mind for you is what I call my Amy dress. So oh, this, is, this is Amy, she's short in the front mm -hmm. and she's long in the back, so she likes a good party. This okay. is one of my fun, fun, Sexy. fun pieces. Like, and it's actually right behind you. It's the metallic dress that you see there. Oh, oh, everyone wow. is swooning over. Yeah. Um, yes. What's amazing about this is that we talked about sleeveless. And, yes. and we're gonna get you there. Okay. But I know also to get you there, it's gotta have a little flavor, it's gotta have a little personality, and you gotta feel it. I love it. Your vision board, you were very specific about what you liked and what looked good on your body. And I thought that was extremely smart and very on it. So what I thought for you was those great elliptical lines, and then also, if you uh, wanna grab it, there's a blue pencil skirt on the table there with your name on it. I wanna get you back in the fun. Thank you, that's great. We talked about one pieces and two pieces. Yes. So again, I wanna do baby steps. I wanna get you to that two piece, but I wanna get there when you're ready. So I wanna start off with a one piece, and I have a couple of great options behind me. Um, one here also in the leopard, which I think is amazing. Mm. We're gonna have to hone what's gonna look good on your body, mm -hmm. and we won't know that till we try a few bikinis on you and some swimsuits and see, what do you love? I can't wait to see what they end up wearing. So. I know, me too. I know. Me too. Thank you for yeah. having me. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see you ladies at the big reveal. Yes. Yay! Thank you. Keep up the good work. Love those designs. Richard is so talented. And I'd love to see what you have on your vision board, so please share that with us on Facebook. And don't forget to enter our Bigger Wardrobe Slimmer You contest powered by Spiegel. Coming up, instant glamour. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back. It's been a full day of inner and outer beauty, but now it's time to let our hair down and party. Well, actually, we might put our hair up or try a new do all together. Hey, ladies, I know you're planning to go out tonight to watch Nikki sing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I thought there was no better time than to invite back our friend from Hair You Wear, CMO Mike Ferreira, to give you some fun new looks. Cool. I am so glad you invited us, Jamie. And of ladies, there is no better and faster way than to change the way you look and feel than with your hair. And we have some really special surprises in store for you. I'm happy to tell you I've brought a couple of experts along with me. So I'm gonna step away. You're in great hands. Have fun. Nikki, we heard that you're thinking about going for a shorter look on stage. Yes. Okay, so we brought something here for you that can get that look completed and give you a test run. Right, I brought along a wig from the Raquel Welch collection. So, let's put on this wig. That's great. It's going upstage. It's from the Raquel Welch signature collection. And it goes on just like that. Look at that sexy bang just sweeping across the face. Beautiful highlights. This is going to look so good on stage. Well, let's see what you think. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. What do you think? Oh, it looks great. I like I think it. That looks and the okay. color. I've always thought about coloring my hair. I, I really like it. You don't have to go through the chemical process, but yes. how natural does that look, yes, right? Yes, it looks very natural. It's great. Thank you. Brandy, you are a beautiful girl and you get all excited about your nails and your makeup, but your hair is always in a ponytail. Yes, always. Shame on you. Well, Here's the thing, you know, I get it if you spend a lot of time working out and maybe your right. hair's not always clean, but there are quick and easy ways to get excited about your hair look. This is a simple clip-in bang piece. It has three pressure-sensitive clips. They pop in and you get a fresh, no root, no greasy hair look, okay? Awesome. So here's how it works, ready? Okay. Just kind of slide that right in. Uh -huh. Use those clips, push them down. You know they're secure. Mm -hmm. Pop the top one in. And girlfriend, you've got a sexy look to go with those beautiful oh, lashes. Wow. Good job. Would you like awesome. to take a look? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
What do you think? Wow, it's beautiful. I love it. Like totally changes the look and even the color matches. It's yeah. awesome. So Rochelle, I have to say that I love the ombre color of your locks. Thank you. And I really enjoy this look. I heard that you were thinking about going shorter. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Mm, I think you and... should think very hard. <laughs> this is your signature. I know, but I'm changing and I'm transforming, so I'm thinking about it. So I'll, can I make a little suggestion? Okay. How about we try something really simple? Sometimes less is more. So this is the thick braid Christy Brinkley headband. Works just like the one you have in your hair. And let's see how that goes. Okay, I'll try that. Okay, and you can go ahead and push it back just the way you... Well, yes. I love this. Okay, are you ready to take a look? Okay. Little change goes a long Little way. Change. How do you feel about that? Oh, wow. I actually Adorable. like that. That right? is very nice. It's sophisticated but very fast, and isn't that what it's all about? And it's still fun. It yep. is fun. So, Nicole, even though the ponytail look is very <laughs> practical for your outdoor dog business life. It ain't glamorous. <laughs> I know, I know. How would you like to allow us to glam up your look with a couple of clip-ins really quick, something simple and easy that you can replicate and maybe go out with friends or have dinner? Love it, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Right here. Take the Brinkley thing Brinkley out, Brinkley. get the rid of the ponytail. Super easy, we're gonna okay. take two sections. I'm gonna make the first section down the bottom of your hair and then we snap them in in three Three places. One, two, and three on either side. If you don't have lots of hair, you can just use one of these guys, but you sure. have a ton of it. And voila. Uh -huh. Okay, Nicole, are you ready to see this? I am. Take a look. Oh my gosh. What do you think? I love it. It looks beautiful. Watch out, ladies. You're beautiful, so don't forget Thank to you. clip these on and I use will. them. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Day with the dogs. A night on the town with Christy <laughs> Wrinkly hair extensions. Sounds perfect. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Y'all look amazing. And Thank Jamie, you. This wouldn't be a complete makeover unless we made you over a little bit. So we have a Christy Brinkley braid headband. All right, let's try this All right. on. <laughs> oh, you look adorable. Yeah. That was so I want a box of them. <laughs> and congratulations again. We can't wait to see the big reveal in a few weeks. And in the meantime, good luck with the rest of your journey. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Fabulous. Beginning the journey, Brandy checked in at 270 pounds. This week, she's down one pound for a total of 34 pounds and 13 and a half inches. Nicole started at 261 pounds. She's also one pound lighter this week. Her overall loss, an impressive 42 pounds and 20 inches. Rochelle began at 237 pounds. She's lost three pounds this week for a loss of 25 pounds and 21 inches. And finally, Nikki originally weighed in at 224 pounds. She's down one pound this week for an overall loss of 34 pounds and 16 inches. Great job, ladies. Keep up the great work. Well, that's our show for today, but we want you to head on over to our Facebook page, our website, for lots more insider info on the girls, our experts, and so much more. That's right, and we'll see you next Monday on another edition of Mission Makeover. Thanks for watching. Here's to good health. So long, everybody.